Hi, how are you today, uh, Tion? I am awesome, how are you? Good, good. good. Uh, for our listeners out there who are not familiar with you, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Tion T. Thompson, and yeah, 32 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about your work, and um, well, let's step back first and say, Tell us a little bit about yourself in terms of where you grew up and how was it to grow up and how uh, and talk about your work. Okay. Um, I grew up, I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I grew up in St. Paul, Minnesota. And then I moved to Los Angeles when I was 17. Been there 14 years. Um, I spent most of my childhood as a, oh no, my entire childhood actually as a dancer started dancing when I was about five years old, um, doing tap, jazz, ballet, uh, and that's what brought me to Los Angeles. I did that for a while. Uh, it was actually really hard growing up being a dancer, actually, because I am a black male, and I got teased all the time. <laughs> but, right. Um, but, I, but, you know, I stuck into it, stuck, it, uh, stuck with it, moved to Los Angeles, uh, did that professionally for a while, and then moved into some other areas in the entertainment business, and I picked up string art uh, a couple of years ago, just randomly, me and a friend of mine were uh, talking about making some things by hand, and I ran into it, and I started doing it, and I loved it, and here we are. <laughs> you know, I first became familiar with your work through a friend. Um, okay. I am often on the web looking for artists and so forth to interview for prideindex.com. And I came across your work and was uh, fascinated with it. It touched my heart literally. So when I looked at Jack a, Jack a Heart, I said, oh, this is beautiful. And I wanted to learn a little bit more about it. So that was the purpose of my reaching out to you. Um, so basically you're saying that it's string art. Explain exactly what is string art. Well, it's called string art. I don't necessarily like that word. Some people call it table art. Some people call it nail art. But most people call it string art just because it's mainly string. Uh, I mean, it, you know, it's wood, In terms nail, of your material. And, correct, correct. Yeah, just, it's okay. just a, a string that I use. A close so, string, to be exact. So you uh, mentioned that in your background you were a dancer. Were you also an artist in terms of drawing or, or writing? Actually, no. I just started to I mean, I've, all my life I've wished that I could draw, and I just have always sucked at it. <laughs> and then ever since I started doing the string art, I draw my own stencils by hand. Um, well, I mean, I use a ruler for straight edge stuff, but for everything else, I usually just do everything by hand. And so since I've been drawing more and more, I'm actually becoming kind of good at it, if I may say that myself. <laughs> But, yeah, growing up, I was never, I, yeah, I couldn't draw. I suck at it, actually. <laughs> right. You know, I uh, also drew uh, growing up, but I was not the type of artist that could draw details in a, uh, a human's face. I could right. always yes, draw a black background in simple form. Right. Yes, yeah, see, I think that I can't draw, like, yeah, people and, and detailed faces and things like that, but, you know, characters and shapes and things like that I'm pretty good with. So is your art more abstract? Uh, I guess you could call it that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. let's talk a little bit more about your art in terms of have you displayed it in an exhibit at a museum or, or some place uh, for the public? Um, so far, I've done a couple of showcases uh, called the Raw Artist Showcase. Um, I believe they are in about 60 cities, I believe, around the country. Why? Oh, and, goodness. Yeah, and they just they showcase really, they do visual art and um, music and just all different kind of art. They just they accept any, any type of artist. And it's a really dope uh, thing, actually, because... Once you once you show at a show, then you get to show at any show, at any city around the country for free. After that, I mean, if you don't pay for it, you have to sell twenty tickets, and then once you sell twenty tickets, then you can show at another showcase anywhere around the country for free. So it's so really dope city? to have. Go ahead. No, you said what cities have I done? Yes. 
Yeah, first, the first one I did was in Los Angeles, and then I did one in Minneapolis, and I'll be doing another one in Minneapolis coming this December 17th. That is uh, outstanding. That is outstanding. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me make sure that I have my verbiage correct when I say uh, string art. And where do you find your inspiration for, for your art? Where does um, your inspiration come from? All over the place. I mean, I have, I do, like I said, I do like certain characters or shapes or just, you know, it's just whatever I feel. A lot of times I will like, I'll get online and just look for, you know, pictures to go off of of anything that I, you know, that reminds me of something from my childhood or dance-wise or just whatever it is that comes to mind. I'll write it down or I'll draw it and then, you know, when I have time and I'll draw a stencil and get wood and, you know, go from there. But, I mean, it comes from all over the place. There's not really, you know, one direction that I, that I go in. Okay. It's pretty open. Uh, is your work for sale? Yes, it is. Where? Um, if I were interested in your work. Uh, well, right, right. I mean, I have I have a website that's um, actually not up currently. It's under construction, but I usually just take orders through my website. I mean, through my email, but I have a Instagram page as well that shows the work that I've done and so far, and then, you know, you can send me an email and we usually talk there and people will usually say can you create this and then we talk about size and colors and then you know just go from there and then uh, make it happen okay and let's just talk about some of your creations um, what are some of the requests uh, you have received from uh, clients no oh, I mean usually a lot of times people want words and like names like their kids names or somebody's name which to be completely honest, I hate doing letters, <laughs> but because uh, it's just it's just so much harder to not harder to do letters, but people assume that it would be easier to do a letter, but there's actually doubled because you know if you do a letter, there's one side of each line, so everything is doubled, and there's just so many extra nails to do. But for the most part, people you know ask for like sports teams or names or you know just the regular simple things. But I and I like creating bigger things and like like I said before characters and I have this one uh, red ribbon for HIV and AIDS awareness and that's my favorite piece personally. Um, but yeah, it's kind of all over the place. <laughs> and tell us about your artistic style and some of your influences. Do you have any influences? Oh. And I don't know that I would say that I do really when it comes to to this. Is it okay to say it myself? <laughs> just like, just like I said before, I, I just everything that I, whenever I create a new piece, it usually comes from somewhere, either a, a memory or a cartoon that I used to love or, you know, just something that might remind me of my mom or whatever it is. And then I just, I go from there. I don't really think of anyone else <laughs> during the process. And I'm thumbing through some of your pictures on Facebook, and one that caught my eye, of course, was the Jack of Heart, one-of-a-kind um, wall custom art. Uh -huh. um, this one with the XOXO. Uh -huh. This is a good piece. How, uh -huh. how long does it usually take you to create some of these uh, pieces? Uh, well, every piece is different. It really just depends on the size. And I, I try to... Since I get my wood and then I have to sand it and then stain it, and I do all of that. So I try to, I try to work on more than one piece at a time. So I don't really know exactly how much time it takes me. But I mean, one regular size piece that's maybe about fourteen by fourteen, just something really simple. I mean, it could take me four days, just a week, about. What is some of the craziest material you've ever used? I'm looking at. Um, I'm at rawartist.org slash Jack A Trade. Jack A Heart, sorry. Jack A Heart. Oh, and I'm looking at some of the pieces you've created. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to understand some of this material. Obviously, I see the uh, lines and the colored uh, line. But what are some of the other materials you uh, use? I only use wood, nails, and 
strength. And that's and it. I mean, I, that's, I, well, I stain, I mean, well, you stain too. I stain each piece of wood depending on what color we want the wood to be. But other than that, yeah, it's just wood, sandpaper, <laughs> stain, nails, paper to make the stencils, and nails and strength. And that's it. And you just go for it. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty simple and really easy, but it's 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 very time-consuming. You know, I'm, one thing that's pretty funny is that, you know, I, I don't have patience. Like, that's one thing that everybody, anybody that knows me knows I have zero patience. And so it's really funny that I can, you know, sit and pound yeah. nails one by one for hours because it's completely <laughs> the opposite of who I am. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's teaching me to, like, you know, relax my mind and chill out, you know. And I love music, so as long as music's playing, I can really do anything. <laughs> and I understand that Jack is your late grandfather. Correct. Um, so that is where you got the name from. Mm -hmm. Well, see, he, your... he, he passed away when I was about, I would say, nine from uh, ALS. And so we walk uh, in his name every year um, under the name Jack of Hearts. And so I wanted to use that name, but obviously that was taken. So then I decided to use Jack A. Hart because, you know, it's a playoff word. You know, people usually think that it's Jack of Hearts, but then, you know, Jack is from my grandfather. And then Jack A. Hart is like stealing your heart and bringing you in and, you know, all that. But yes, Jack is my grandfather. Now, these are some uh, amazing and beautiful pieces. Um, this cross is a, a, a wonderful piece. Uh, are, do you uh, use religion uh, for inspiration? Um, sometimes. I mean, I would say that, you know, I'm not a super religious person, but, you know, I'm pretty spiritual and I have a relationship with God. And so I would say that, yeah, he's involved in everything that I do from the second that I wake up until I go to sleep, really. So, so yeah, yeah. Now, also, as I take a look at some of your photos, you're obviously a handsome young man, and <laughs> I could see that you could possibly have a career in modeling. Have you considered modeling? I did. I, I, I've i been in the fashion industry now for probably 10 years or so. I've been, well, I mean, in the last couple of years, I, did, I haven't modeled so much. I, you know, I went through some some life situations that pulled me away from the entertainment business altogether. But, I mean, I, I, I've done, done quite a few things in the, in the modeling industry. And is that print or runway? Print. More print and commercial stuff. More so print and commercials. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. looking at. Well, your... Runway was harder for me because I'm I'm just over six foot and runway is usually six okay. one and up. So I, you know runway was a little bit harder for me to to book those jobs. I so yeah I was more print and I did question commercials and before that see, like I was saying before like I moved to Los Angeles when I was seventeen to be a dancer. My first job ever was um, a video and tour with Madonna. So it wasn't long after that that I decided that I wanted to move into other areas, and that's how I got when I entered uh, the fashion industry and, and all that. And then I just ran with that. Made me more money than a dancer did. <laughs> wow. You <laughs> made more money with your modeling. art. Oh, with modeling. Okay. Yeah, modeling. Yeah, modeling than I did dancing. Okay. If you could only do one thing, dance, model, or art, which one would you do? Dance. Why? Whew. Uh, well, dance is the thing that I always had, like I said, I started when I was five, so it's just all that I've really known all my life, and then it got to a point, I was about seven years ago, I, oh, I have degenerative disc disease, and I didn't know that until more recently, but my back just pulled me away from the dancing industry because my back hurts so bad I can't really do anything. So I miss it so bad I would give everything up to, to have that back. Okay. And a question came to mind, but 
but I am just so fascinated with uh, your work that I see here, um, and I can't wait to you can't wait for you to get that website completed. How much does uh, right now I have to go for? Um, everything is different. I mean, I would say uh, it's between like well, I'd say that it starts at fifty and goes up depending on the size. Obviously, I mean, I have a couple of things that are, you know, about two hundred dollars and some are three, three fifty, three seventy five. It just really just depends on how big it is and what exactly it is. I charge a little bit more for for letters and numbers, like I said, because there's like the double sided and everything is a lot more detailed. But yeah, fifty dollars and up. Usually I mean unless it's like a really small piece then I you know, about twenty bucks or whatever, but for the main pieces it's fifty and up. Okay. And I'm also looking at, well, maybe I shouldn't say this, but, uh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> your <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> Have you ever used uh, your tattoos as inspiration for some of your pieces as well? It's funny that you say that because I'm very into hearts. And so, I mean, obviously, check a heart. I do a lot of hearts, and that's where the whole thing started. And I have hearts that go all the way up one of my sleeves and one on my ankle, and so, yeah, I go from there, and then also the red ribbon. Um, I have a red ribbon on my arm, so I guess I do, yeah. <laughs> okay, and let's see here. You are based in Los Angeles? Correct. Okay. Have you worked uh, or created anything for any celebrities? If so, who? Um, I have. I mean, I've made a couple. I made a piece for Rihanna. Um, um, I made a piece for Rock Nation, Jay Z, and Jay Brown. Um, but other than that, mainly just you know clients or friends or. I mean, I have a couple of celebrity friends, so I don't really know where this question is. You know, I don't know. I don't know how to really answer that, but Rihanna, I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's anybody else you want to tell us, we'll just later find out that that's an original uh, T.I.N.T. Thompson piece. Just say it again? If there were any other celebrities, you wouldn't tell us right away, but we'd find out later Probably, that, hey, yeah. uh, let's say, uh, Shirley Ralph, some of the art she has is a Tion T. Thompson uh -huh. original piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And again, if I were interested, if one of my listeners were out there and they were interested in learning more about you or your art or possibly hiring you to create some original pieces, what should they do? They can go to my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Jack A. Hart or my Instagram page, which is at Jack A. Hart, or they can email me at ttt at jackahart.com. And when and where are you going to appear next or your work will appear next? Uh, December 17, 2014, I will be showing at the Raw Artist Showcase at the Poor House in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. It was a pleasure to speak with you uh, this evening, and I Mark. thank you very much for uh, making yourself available at short notice and just telling us everything there is about uh, Jack A. Hart. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right.